Welcome, friends, to another edition of Tiffin Box TV. I'm your host, Seishu, and I speak with photography industry leaders who make it a habit of inspiring others, bridging craft and commerce to help you create a sustainable and creative business. Today's guest is Galen Mooney, and she runs a business called Photography Squares that specifically helps photographers like you and me with Squarespace websites rank highly in search engines. In fact, I signed up for her course called SEO for Photographers, and I'm already seeing results. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. Galen, uh, you know, it's wonderful to have you here. Obviously, uh, you know, this is a very biased conversation in some respects. Because I want to know more about how to use Squarespace. And so this is my opportunity to, to tap you and say, hey, <laughs> let's find out about how to use SEO for Squarespace. But I'm telling you, there are so many photographers out there who, who have the option between WordPress and Squarespace and probably uh, other websites, uh, website creating applications. And most of them would say, WordPress is just too much. There's just too much to learn. Uh, and Squarespace is such a, uh, such a relief in a way. Um, I know a very well-known photographer who actually went with Squarespace because of that. He goes, I'm a photographer. Yeah. I want to make, I want to put up pictures. I don't want to be, you know, tinkering with plugins and things like that. What is your take on all of this? Yeah, so I actually um, started off as a solely WordPress user. I was a WordPress developer and I was really into WordPress. Um, and then I started uh, playing around with Squarespace when it first came out. And at first it was a little bit, you know, there was, it wasn't quite where you wanted it to be. It wasn't quite where WordPress is. And really they've started to make some really cool changes over the years. Um, and eventually I just loved how user friendly it was. And I had the choice um, when I would work with new people to start with WordPress or start with Squarespace. And I started going more towards the Squarespace route. I just enjoyed using it so much more. Um, but from the start, SEO has always been such an important part of, of building every new website and working with clients. So um, I wanted to look more into how that would um, work for Squarespace. And so I kind of started to realize that it's really not about what platform you're using. It's so much more about how you're using it and the content you're putting out there for users. And like you said, there's so much misinformation out there. So it's my goal to really help educate people on how to use Squarespace to get the most um, out of their search engine rankings. One of the things that I've already indicated was that WordPress has these things called plugins. I mean, you've, you've heard of Yoast and how yes. amazing it is. And it is, I mean, in fact, for Tiffinbox, uh, I do use Yoast, and it is a WordPress platform. Um, but there is no such thing for Squarespace, and you're sort of beholden to what Squarespace offers you. And that may be somewhat tricky in, in terms of navigating the ins and outs of, oh, I didn't know that I had to change my alt text, for instance, right? That yeah. that has to be set up beforehand, and that was that blew my mind when you mentioned that in your course. I was like, oh wow, I could do that. That's great. <laughs> and all you do is tick a little box in one of those settings, and it, it just pulls that information right into Squarespace. Right. And uh, it, it, one of my friends said, oh, you can't do that. I said, no, you can. Look, it's here, right here. Uh, so this is the kind of thing that I, I love about your teaching because. There's so many little little tips and tricks that sort of in aggregate uh, sort of help photographers gain some momentum on the SEO front. What are what are, this you know it, it, with given all that we know about SEO and how it's always changing and the algorithms are always moving around. What what is your sense that Squarespace is doing to help photographers uh, and other creative uh, individuals make it in in the SEO world? So Squarespace really prides itself on being super simple and the websites are very visual. So a lot of their SEO features are a little bit hidden away. Those are not the features they necessarily push front and center. Um, but the most important thing they've done is they built a really um, fast platform. It's something um, that's very secure and easy to work with. And so those things right there are building a foundation that's actually really great for SEO. The tricky part is unlike having 
a Yoast plugin or an SEO plugin is some of those fields are kind of hidden within Squarespace or called something that you might not be familiar with. So what I try to do um, in my course is I really try to break down and show you exactly where those fields are. And if you put something here, this is how it's going to help you later. So really kind of breaking down um, those different barriers to figuring out where your content is going to be the most useful to Google and where you can place it. But Squarespace, like I said, has all those things kind of innately built into the platform. It's just a matter of knowing how to uncover them and where to put that content. That, that is truly brilliant because, I mean, um, the light bulb moments, honestly. Yes. When I'm going through your modules, <laughs> I was like, oh, that's what it's called and that's where it is. Oh, my goodness. And it's so cool that you can you can just add it and just set it and let it go and it'll do its right. thing. Um, still, there are going to be some challenges for photographers who are either nervous about you know getting into the back end of a website and go, oh, no, I'm going to break something. How, what do you say to photographers who are who have Squarespace and have the very basics but haven't really you know sort of immersed themselves into the SEO world of things? I mean, what do you tell them? How do you how do you cajole them into making those changes? So I'm not a big fan of really like purely SEO optimizing your website. I like to believe that anytime you're making changes for SEO, they should also be really beneficial to your potential clients who are going to be visiting your website. Awesome. So I don't want you to think of it as having to change all this code and having to create all this content that's specifically for Google. I really want you to think about how can you um, reach potential clients? How can the wording and the content um, and the way you tag your images, how is that going to help the people that you're trying to target with your photography business? Um, um, and that's so much more organic, so much more natural and authentic instead of feeling like, oh, I just have to go in and put all these keywords in that doesn't sound like me. I want you to add content that sounds like you, that feels um, that feels natural and kind of organic, I guess. Yeah. Well, that's great advice. I think uh, that's another thing I took away from your course, too, is that you know, it is it is a moving target. So don't stress out about yes. getting things wrong because you can always go in and fix it. All right. So I, I love that about uh, Squarespace because it is easy. I mean, it is it is a, a very visual application. It's a very visual yes. platform. Um, I can go in and check the settings, check the, the analytics. Everything is visual. In fact, I mean, it's so awesome that you can click a button and you say How, you know, who, who's visited your website and from where and all this good stuff, just like you would in Google Analytics, for instance. But it's all built into Squarespace. So yes. you're, you're already there and it's awesome. Um, when does your course open up again? I know, is, is it closed for now? Is it, you're bringing it back again in, in a different format? What, tell us a little yeah. bit more about that. So I um, launch my course usually a couple times a year. I'm actually getting ready to do a totally free five-day challenge, an SEO challenge in my Facebook group. Um, and then after the challenge or during the challenge, I'll offer my course available during that time. Um, and then I close it again. I like to kind of make sure I'm um, checking in with current students and answering questions. Um, and after that five-day challenge, I'll, I'll start to do um, more sort of live one-on-ones or group um sessions with people who are inside the course. So it's kind of nice. I can put a lot of effort into the free challenge and the free things I do with my group. And then I take a little break after I launch my course and really go in and try to help the people who are in the course and um, adding more content to the course and things like that. Awesome. Tell me, Galen, uh, what does it mean to you to make such a great impact on photographers' lives? It's so much fun for me. I mean, I... Um, it's just, I love working with people who are really creative and photography is such like a visual creative thing. And it's, and it's interesting how difficult SEO is perceived to somebody who is so visually oriented. And I've always kind of come at it from both ends. Um, I've always loved photography and I've also always kind of loved the technical side. So to be able to kind of bridge those two, um, and help people who maybe aren't as fluent in one, one side of that to help them kind of connect the two and not mm -hmm. make it difficult, really simplify things. It's just so much fun for me, um, to get to answer questions and, and help people. I tracked their ideal clients, help them do more of what they love. In, in an interesting way, you, you are making an impact on people's lives and as they are making an impact on their clients' <laughs> lives. I mean, that's, yeah. I, lo I love that. Um, people can find you at photographysquares.com. I will have a link yeah. to it. Um, obviously, when the course opens up or the challenge even opens up, I'll make sure that everybody knows about it. Uh, here's one little thing. 
I took your homepage SEO course first. Yes. First, before I jumped into the SEO for photographers, because I was like, I don't know about this SEO for photographers <laughs> business. It's so, I mean, it's like, it's a lot, it's a lot to take in. So when you offered that homepage thing, and it was, I think, at a, at a real super discount, and I looked at it, and I went through it, and I made the changes, and it was, I loved it. I loved the way you Good. teach. Good. And I made the changes right away. As I was listening in one window, in the other window, I was making those changes, you know, um, with with H1 tags and uh, yep. you know, just adding the right content, making sure the alt tags are all there, all that stuff. It was perfect. It was great. So I thought, well, if she is able to do this just for the homepage, imagine what she can do for the whole site. <laughs> so I was like, oh, yeah, I got, I'm definitely signing up. So I am really super excited about this course. And as you can tell, uh, I'd love to have other folks also sign up. So I will make sure that link is there as well. So thanks for joining me today, Galen. You're so welcome. Is there anything else? Is there anything else uh, you, we should know about the course or anything else that you would like to add before I say um, bye? Anyone is welcome to join my free Facebook group. You can either sign up on my website, photographysquares.com, and I will send you the link to the Facebook group, or you can go right over to Facebook and just search Photography Squares, and you'll find it there. Super. I would do this. And do, folks, if you're listening in, do the Fight Day Challenge. Honestly, <laughs> you're going to learn so much. I swear it's, all, it's all on Facebook Live, too, exactly. so I really enjoy like being there, being present with everybody, and right. just kind of answering your questions on the fly. It's really fun. Awesome. Thanks for joining us today, Galen. Take care. Thank you. Bye.